Make them stop lying to you. It's time to put your foot down. I'm gonna show you an explosive chart with just the facts. You're gonna leave this video with absolute clarity on what Bitcoin's next huge move is going to be and you will be fully ready for it. Now I have a question for you. Do you want to know when to buy and when to sell? Do you want to have way more free time? Do you want to make extra income? And do you want to make five times more in this bull run? I have exactly what you need. My courses have the largest discount in six years. Largest discount in six years right now, but only for a limited time. A ridiculous 75% off. This is a steal. This is a bank robbery. And these courses are exactly what you need. You're gonna learn how to find exactly when to buy and when to sell. You're gonna have way more free time, way less stress. You're gonna make extra income and you're gonna make five times more in this bull run. If you say to me, oh, your courses are expensive. I agree, my courses are expensive and they'll take about 10 minutes per day but you won't find anything even close to the quality and the results you'll get. If you say to me, oh, I wanna sign up, but I'm gonna wait for more profits and sign up later. You could do that, or you can sign up now and make five times more in this bull run as opposed to doing it your way. The answer is clear, but the clock is ticking. Time is running out. Go to CryptoCrewUniversity.com cryptocrewuniversity.com. Lock in those courses. Those courses are exactly what you need to turn everything around and get on a fresh new path. This is the moment you've been waiting for. Cryptocrewuniversity.com. Now, let's jump into this video. I have an explosive chart to share with you. Now, there's a lot of theories about what's happening with Bitcoin. There's a lot of ideas, there's a lot of, of hopium, and there's a lot of bearishness, there's a lot of bullishness, there's a lot of noise, and then social media goes crazy, and then, you know, TV takes it out of proportion with the news and the media, but I want to break down some cold hard facts that are eye-opening, okay? What I'm going to show you is this Bitcoin pie cycle bottom indicator. Now you can pull it up on your charts by going here. We're on the weekly chart and they have a red line and they have a green line. And the way that the price action interacts with this red and green line is mind boggling. It's fascinating. Now I have a couple tricks that I'm gonna show you, but what we'll start with is we had a cross back here in March, which we covered on this channel, right? and you can see what's happened since then, which is very similar to what happened in 2019, and what's very similar that happened in 16, and very similar that happened in 12. Let's go all the way back to 16, right? We had this cross right here, where this red line crossed below, indicating this the bear market bottom, right? And then it crossed back above, signaling the start of the bull. Once we had the start of a bull, we had a particular pattern play out. Do you see what I'm seeing in the charts here? Now, in 19, we had this cross down, which marked the bottom. And then we had this cross back up, which marked the start of the bull. And then we had this specific pattern play out. Now, a lot of people are wondering, oh, what's Bitcoin going to do? And they're thinking the worst in the, in the worst way or the best in the best way. But again, the facts are the facts. Men lie, women lie, the charts don't lie. Here is a little secret weapon. Right now, we're holding this red line as support. If we were to break this red line, things are gonna get really dicey. Let me explain. If we go in a time machine back to 12, right, 2012, Bitcoin had its peak here, it's had its downfall here. This was the bear market. This rally from here to here dragged Bitcoin out of a bear and into phase one of the bull. Phase one of the bull struggled with this red line, right? Now, we can say, okay, well, the indicator wasn't actually accurate at that time because the indicator was very new. It didn't have a ton of years prior of data to have a more accurate. Okay, that's true. However, Pay attention to what happened next, right? We had the market move sideways right out of the bear. So the market moved incredibly powerfully to the up, upside. It brought us out of the bear into a bull. And then we struggled with this red line. And then we held this green line as support. 
Now, when you fast forward to 16 and you look at what happens, this red line, we didn't break it, okay? We did not break this red line, which is a distinct pattern that I want to show you here. You can see that we had some resistance at the top. And we rallied up to this top, came back to our base. Rallied up to this top, came back to our base. Rallied up to this top, came back to our base. Rallied up to the top, came back to our base. This is an ascending triangle. Oftentimes these break to the upside. This is a key clue as to what's happening now. I want you to visualize what this looks like, okay? So in 2012 and 2016, we acted the same way. In phase one of the bull, the market went sideways, but it did not break the red line in 2016. It did break the red line in 2012. Now, when we go forward to 2019, this is where things get even more interesting and it drops some more bombs and clues as to what's going on in 23. But as we look at this, once we had this cross, we knew, okay, this was the start of the bull. And the bull moved up to this position here, but it held a resistance candle right here. This was a major clue. And anytime you break this red line, you're going to fall to the green line. And we fell all the way down. Even though it was unfathomable to drop that much, we dropped that much. Now, if you study charts like we do, this was a gravestone doji that printed on the weekly chart. So we knew that there was trouble ahead, but to drop all the way to the green line is very aggressive. But there was a clue. Once you're in a bull run and you break this red line, you're going to drop to the green line. Okay, it happened in 12 and it happened in 19. You can see a breach of the red line, boom, fell to the green. 2016, no breach of the red, so we never fell to the green. We fell to the green as soon as we breached the red right here. As soon as we had a candle close below, we already know the top is in and we're having some trouble, okay? But in phase one of the bull, what we've noticed is that phase one of the bull, which we're in right now, is the only time that you can break this red line and you will fall to the green line and still be in a bull market. Case in point, 2019. We were in phase one of the bull we broke the red. We fell all, to way, all the way to the green. This was still the bull market, okay? Even though we fell all the way back down and retested our base, which I've said repeatedly, worst case scenario, Bitcoin's going to retest its base. That's literally the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario, do I think we're going to slip back into a bear market? We'll address that in a moment. Now, if you look at just the facts in the charts, this break above here, this is phase one of the bull. This break above here, phase one of the bull. We just had this cross. Had this cross here, phase one of the bull. Had this cross here, phase one of the bull. Now, it becomes almost undeniable that we are in exactly this cycle. And there are two ways this is going to play out. Either we're going to be really well behaved, like 16, where we did not break this red line and things were very, very healthy. Or we're going to have a little bit of turmoil, like in 12 and 19, where we did break this red line and in both cases fell all the way to the green while remaining in a bull. Those are the two scenarios. Let's explore which one looks more accurate. Because as we stand now, as we said back here, how many days ago is this now? We're 105 days. 105 days ago, we said here on this channel that Bitcoin's going to be really boring for the next 100-ish days, and the market's going to move sideways, the volatility's going to drop, it's going to be very, very boring. But this is what phase one of the bull is. It's very boring. So we're on schedule. We're holding support on this red line. We haven't shown any signs that we're going to break it, but something's got to give, right? We have some resistance across the top here which again, we weren't going to break this price 100-ish days ago, and we haven't, but we've got some support coming up. Look familiar? So again, I asked you earlier to look at this pattern. So far, we're very close to the 16 fractal, right? We had a high here, we came back down to our base. We came back up to our resistance zone, back down to our base. Now, we're, as we're coming down to our base, we're making a low, a higher low, a higher low, a higher low, 
as we're still maintaining the same level of resistance. That's an ascending triangle. Oftentimes, these break to the upside. That's good news for us because what's looking like it's happening so far is precisely that. What we want to continue to happen is we come down and potentially retest this red line and then come back up and potentially retest this yellow line as resistance and we're going to be forming a nice little ascending triangle and the high majority of those break to the upside. Now, worst case scenario, we hold this red line as resistance. If we were to hold it as resistance, it's likely we're going to test all the way back down to this green. And you can see it's a pretty big gap. I mean, that mouth is open. So how likely is that to happen? Well, that's definitely in the cards. It's, it's quite literally happened in two different cycles. One could say it's happened in the majority of cycles. If we're looking at these cycles with an open and honest view, one can say we have three distinct cycles, the 12, the 16, and the 19. So one can say 66% of the time we retested this green line and only 33% of the time we ignored the green line. So if you think about it like this, is it possible to reach this green line? Yes, absolutely. What price is this green line? And will that slip us into a bear market? That's a deeper question. So my opinion, will this slip us into a bear market? The short answer would be no, but a more in-depth answer would be we would need to study the facts at that point in time. Like if we breach this green line and just plummet, then this, is, this won't act as any cycle that Bitcoin has ever seen. So in my opinion, it's not likely that will happen, just based on all of the facts that are in front of us. It's almost undeniable that we're in phase one of the bull. There's a chance we're going to hold this as support. If we do, we'll continue as 2015. But if we come back down to this, by the way, this red line right now is at 27.4K. Keep in mind, this red line is rising. This green line currently is at 18,000. Keep in mind, that is falling. We have one line rising, one line falling. So this 18K could turn into something interesting in one or two months from now. But the point is, we're looking healthy. We're forming the beginning stages of an ascending triangle. This is not an ascending triangle yet. We need some more touch points on the bottom and on the top, but things are looking good. So the rules that I want you to follow are simple. Watch this red line like a hawk. This indicator you can pull up for free and watch this red line. We do not want to break this red line. And if we do, it's likely we're going to plummet and test this green line. Those are the simple rules to follow. But will we be still in a bear? Judging by all of the facts we have in front of us, it's unequivocally yes. We're in the midst of a market cycle. This is the very beginning of the cycle. And sometimes we have a little rough start. And sometimes we need to retest our base. And that would be the worst case scenario. And Bitcoin would be just fine. It would not change us from a, from a bull into a bear. So if you look at all the facts, you study all the facts, this is what you see. Now, leave in the comments down below what you believe to be true. And I do want to give a special welcome to all of the new students. Phenomenal, phenomenal to see you inside and taking advantage of the largest discount we've ever had on the courses in six years, a ridiculous 75% off. You're going to learn exactly when to buy and when to sell. You're going to have way more free time. You're going to have extra income coming in, and you're going to make five times more in this bull run. Who wouldn't want that? Go to CryptoCrewUniversity.com to sign up, and I also want to thank everybody for their continued support. This is a family company. I run this with my wife, with my son, my incredible team. We don't take paid ads, no sponsorship deals, no paid links down below, no affiliate links, no promoting dirty trading on different platforms and leverage trading and all this kind of stuff. We've never taken a dime ever. Everything I built is with my two hands and everything we promote changes lives. Our courses have changed so many lives. It's, it's a simple decision. Do you want to change your life? You go to CryptoCrewUniversity.com. It's that simple. 
We're here to change lives. We're not taking any money from anybody else for any reason ever. In all of the six years I've been here on YouTube, that's how it's been, and that's how it will continue to be. So thank you for your continued support. Peace and love to the fellow underdogs. I'll see you right back here in the next video. I was just investing my money, throwing it into the abyss. Uh, lost a pretty good amount of money. I was losing bad. Tens of thousands of dollars. I realized that I definitely didn't know enough. I decided to start taking his classes. I and now with Steve's plan, I'm up 32,000. It was just a totally different experience for me. What I spent on the course times three. I've been staying disciplined. And you learn to do it without emotion. I'm appreciative for this course. It really works. Don't be scared. Take the leap. Do the courses. It is amazing. It'll change your life. It changed mine.